Today we've got the AirDots S, AirDots 2S, and Redmi Buds 3 Lite ready to be compared. Which one do you think is the best? And most importantly, can the newer Buds compete with the AirDots S in taking that lowest latency crown? Well, I'm as curious as you, so watch until the end for the mic and latency test, and let's get started right now. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and welcome to my Redmi comparison video which basically is my full review of the Redmi Buds 3 Lite and AirDots 2S. It's just I decided to do it in a comparison style but rest assured all the details will be right here. I hope it's going to be a fun one but as always full disclosure is in the description below. Basically I'm always telling you my own honest opinion. And should you decide to buy something please use the affiliate links below to help me support the channel at no extra cost to you. Okay, with that said, let's get started with my Xiaomi story. I mean, the overview of the three Redmi earbuds here. So you've been on the channel for a while if you know that I'm not a big fan of Redmi earbuds. Why? Simple, their controls suck. But then came the AirDots S, and despite the controls, we discovered its unreal low latency mode, which gave us a reason to finally buy it. If you can only do one thing, only to perfection, right? Well, unfortunately, it was quickly replaced by the AirDots 2, which took that mode away, you know, the sole reason why you would buy it, and upgrade nothing. I was pissed. So for the whole year, I took it for granted that the AirDots 2S is gonna suck too, but I was totally thinking with my knees here. That's an Indonesian saying, by the way. Only now I realized that it's actually an improvement on everything that matters. One, game mode is back. Two, the case is bigger, which doubles the battery backup from 300 to 600 mAh. But most importantly, because it is bigger, it made taking the earbuds out from the case much easier than the OG Air Dots. Finally, it uses touch control now, although the control scheme still sucks, you can't even go to the next song. But to my surprise, it has wear detection sensor. And get this, the price is still under 20 bucks. That's just amazing. Enter Redmi Buds 3 Lite. Xiaomi scrapped everything and built it from scratch. Both the case and the earbuds are now smaller than even the OG AirDots. There are earfin attachments now, which uses a design similar to the Galaxy Buds Plus, and it means it will be comfortable to wear even for hours. It retains the game mode, which we'll test later, but most importantly, it added next song gesture to the touch controls. This, along with the sound quality improvement, seals the deal for me, and it's really the best and the most affordable Redmi yet. But let's break it down one by one, starting with the most important aspect just mentioned the sound quality. I'll try to compare these buds with song examples you can actually listen. You can find my playlist below so you'll have a good idea of how they sound. Starting off with a simple acoustic guitar song, More Than Words by Extreme, the OG AirDots S, which was similar sounding to the OG Halo GT1, sounds quite balanced with good boost in the mid bass, making the guitar sound prominent alongside the vocals in the mix. It's a decent sound that a casual listener won't really complain about, but then comes the AirDots 2S. While it sounds about one click less loud, I think it brings noticeable improvement across the board. The highlight here is in the improved clarity and separation. So you'll hear that the guitar and the vocals are more distinct, which creates what I feel like a less bloated sound alongside a slightly wider soundstage. Now, the trade-off with the 2S was that it lacks the body in the mids, which makes the guitar sound a bit thin and less prominent in the mix. And that's exactly where the Buds 3 Lite improved. Mid-bass guitar body has been brought slightly back so you now get a good clear sound with a balanced bass response. And together with the volume improvement, now that it's one click louder than even the OG AirDots S, this feels like they have perfected their formula. But let's put something more complicated now. And here we have the orchestra version of Orange by 7 Oops. This has strings playing on top of a full band and you may have guessed the AirDots S performs the worst here. Yes, at the intro when there's just a string, some piano and guitar playing, it holds up pretty well, but when the chorus comes in with bass and drum and everything mixed together, the definition really fell apart. It just sounds dated now. The vocals sound very far away at the back, you'll be left wanting more for clarity, and that mid-bass emphasis doesn't help. It makes the bass guitar cover almost all the other instruments. Now, I'm not criticizing all this because I've listened to much more expensive earbuds, but at the scope of this video, the AirDots S and the Buds 3 Lite 
just sounds better. Right off the bat, the Airdots 2S brings that much needed clarity, projecting the sweetness of the female vocal with better detail on the guitar and piano. Then when the chorus comes, it holds up very well, putting the vocals forward and center, the instruments are separated nicely, although still confined in the center, but the strings are clearly felt coming from around your head. Now how about the Bud 3 Lite then? If the AirDots S behaves like a bassy earbuds or the AirDots 2S is like a clarity earbuds, then the Buds 3 Lite is like combining the two all together. This has the most V-shaped sound out of the three. So you get all of the AirDots 2S clarity improvement, but you also get a more impactful bass better than the AirDots S because it doesn't cover up the other instruments. One might say that the Buds 3 Lite is just better than all the other AirDots, but I see this as an opportunity for you to have more choices. So what song genre are you listening to the most? If we're talking EDM and pop, then the 3 Lite is for you. It reaches deeper into the sub bass and stay by Z, but when you listen to a lot of acoustics and soft music, the AirDots 2S is going to give you a light and airy feeling to your music. I know it will sound very, very nice in this song by Akma. Having said that, these two are both great sounding earbuds for the low price under 20 bucks, and most importantly, they are both better sounding than the OG AirDots S. Okay, if you found the video useful so far, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're into audio and tech in general. We review a lot of good but pocket friendly stuff here, so you're gonna like it. But with that said, let's move on to the next aspect the build quality. I've said the most important differences at the beginning, but what I haven't told you is, across all three models, the matte plastic quality hasn't changed here. It's not the best, the edges are quite sharp, especially on the air dots. And my Buds 3 Lite case makes a creaking noise when I grab the lid, even with only a little bit more force. Check this out. Now the 2S and 3 Lite has USB-C charging port, whereas the OG uses micro USB, but they all have only one LED that'll light up when the case is almost out of juice. In my opinion, the Buds 3 Lite is hands down the winner here, not because of the case, but because of the earbuds that has an all new design. This just makes sense. It's compact, it fits well, it's secured too due to the ear fins, and the rubber of that ear fin wraps around the earbuds which helps a lot with the handling, whereas past air dots have been notorious for being slippery. Now, let's talk about battery life. In my testing, I found these earbuds to perform just as clean. The AirDots 2S, being similar to the OG, gives about 4 hours of playtime at 50% volume. The Buds 3 Lite gives out slightly better endurance at 5 hours with the same half volume, but now keep in mind at this volume level, it might not be enough outdoors, especially on the 2S. You'll definitely bump up the volume and get less battery because of it. Also, for the 2S, I found that during the last 30 minutes before the earbuds died, it actually had frequent audio glitching with poor signal strength. Basically, all this means all tech and it is where the newer Bud 3 Lite shines. So not only it lasts longer, it is louder and has a more solid connection as well. Also, if you're wondering, game mode doesn't take too much extra because it doesn't do anything other than decrease the buffer, which in turn reduces the latency. But correct me if I'm wrong here, that's just my hypothesis. But expect around 10 minutes less of the total 4 to 5 hours time. So don't worry too much about it. On the case side, the clear winner is hands down going to be the AirDots 2S here. The 600mAh battery is twice the size of the other models and it gives about 6 more charges instead of just 3, which means you probably will only charge this once every 2 weeks or so. But it's no slouch on the others as well, they could last up to the weekend, so the extra battery is nice but it's not essential in my opinion. Okay, let's talk about the controls now and starting with the AirDots S and 2S, they're both essentially the same. And as you can see here, this is what I meant when I say I hate Xiaomi controls. To their credit though, the wear detection sensor on the 2S helps a bit in automating that play pause process. It's smart enough to disable one tap to play and pause when you're not wearing it, but for some reason, double tap for voice assistant still triggers, so I don't know. And also the wear detection triggers when you put these earbuds downside in a table usually or like hands like this, so be careful with that. Now, there's a little beep for every time you wear the earbud and for every tap you make. Some will find this annoying, but I found that to be a nice little confirmation because the touch sensitivity isn't that great. A lot of the times I found a need to make a couple attempts just to play my music with a single tap, but for pausing, fortunately, I could just take the earbud out and let the wear detection do its thing. 
the Buds 3 Lite does not have any of this problem. As you can see here now, the controls are a bit peculiar. You don't have one tap gesture or where the section, but instead you need to hold for two seconds to play or pause your music. This might be a hassle at first, but if you already spend that much time on the 2S because of failed attempts, might as well hold for two seconds, right? This is a surefire way to avoid accidental touches, which I've had none during my time on the Buzz 3 Lite. Then also you get your next song on two taps, voice assistant on triple taps, and game mode move to hold both earbuds for two seconds. It's still the bare minimum of controls, but it maintains consistency between left and right earbud, and one that I can finally recommend to everyone. All right, as if it's not clear enough, I think the most important feature of the AirDots S has been the gaming mode because literally there's just nothing quite like it. Yeah, sure, some gaming focus earbuds like the Edifier GM3 might have similar latency performance, but the design and most importantly, the sound quality is just not there for casual listening. So how does the AirDots 2S in the Buds 3 Lite stack up then? Well, I've done the test, so let's check it out right now. All right, to break down the test here, first things first, I'm happy to report that the AirDots 2S and the Buds 3 Lite retains a similar amount of latency performance to the legendary AirDots S. The margin of error in my test is about 34 milliseconds, so we can see that the latency has a trend of increasing over the generation, topping at over 200 milliseconds on the Buds 3 Lite. Question is, do I notice the difference? Well. I'll say that I can slightly tell that 150 milliseconds is nicer than 250 milliseconds that let's say you get on a QCYT5. But it's a diminishing return for sure because the difference is not as big as compared to earbuds that don't have game mode, which usually has 400 milliseconds of latency. That's annoying now. So the Buds 3 Lite is more than enough for most people. I even used it to edit my videos and with game mode on, it almost feels like wired earbuds, just like the AirDots S and 2 S and it's amazing. But at what cost, you might ask? Well, over the years I've tested so many earbuds, I noticed that SBC has the least amount of latency compared to the other codecs. And that's exactly how they achieve this kind of performance. These earbuds are limited to SBC and SBC only. It doesn't use AC on my Mac. It doesn't have the option to enable AC on my Poco X3 Pro. It's just the way it is. But here comes the next question. Is it a big deal? Now this is very important. I've said it time and time again that codecs don't matter as much as driver quality and tuning. Moving up to AAC or heck even Aptex Adaptive, LDAC, whatever, will only contribute to at most 10% of a sound difference, but you'll get a significant battery hit in the process. I personally cannot tell the sound difference most of the time, but I do know that I value an extra hour of battery life. So my suggestion is don't fuss over this too much. Just pick whichever earbuds that suit your taste the most. The driver quality and tuning matters, and that's where I recommend you to subscribe because I make recommendations videos regularly throughout the year, which will help you find the one perfect earbuds for you. Finally, let's check out the microphone quality, and this time I won't test it indoors anymore since I've done it in my Zoom microphone test. I'll leave the link down below for you to check out. So let's go outdoors and we'll see how these earbuds compare. And did they get better throughout the years? Let's find out. <laughs> 
Alright, so welcome to the Outdoor Market Contest, everyone. Right now, you're listening to the Wrestling Paradox Pass, the Elder Dinner one, the one that we have for years now. And this is the sound quality that you get. So, we have a little wind blowing to this side, so it's not touching the mic. Uh, I'm gonna face that side and see how that affects my voice. Uh, this is not a very strong wind. You can see the flag right there, just like, uh, slightly blowing. But yeah, let's compare this to the next year, but the Redmi Air Dots 2S. Alright, so here we are now on the Redmi Air Dots 2S. And yeah, what do you think of the sound quality? Is it an upgrade compared to the original Air Dots S? Because this is, I think, released one year after. So yeah, let's do the wind test right now. Again, not very, very strong wind right there. But you can see just like a very gentle wind blowing in my face now. But let's move on to the next one, the Redmi Buds we like. Alright, so here we are now on the Redmi Buds 3 Lite, and what do you think of the sound quality? Is it much better compared to the, you know, previous gen earbuds? Let me know in down in the comments below, and let's do the uh, wind test here. But, oh, it seems like the wind is out here. Okay, let me try uh, to move this way. So yeah, let's say uh, I'm walking like this. There's a little bit of wind, you know, I'm recreating that wind effect. So let me know what do you think, is it uh, disrupting my voice in any way? And that's pretty much it for the test. Let's move on and finish the video now. So as a conclusion, I think it is clear that the Buds 3 Lite is the best cheap earbuds Redmi has put out today. They have longer battery life, better control scheme, better case and earbuds design. The only reason why you'd want to look for the AirDots 2S is if you like less space and more clarity in your music. Otherwise, the Buds 3 Lite is going to be the default option that I recommend to everyone. Leave a comment down below if you have more questions. I'll try to reply as much as I can, or we can talk over on my Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to follow me there. Also, check out the links down below. They'll help me big time. That's going to be it for me this time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.